Alright guys, Caleb's outdoor radio here. Coming down here to the Thames Ford Dam, hoping to catch some trout and spear a gar if we're lucky. So let's see if we're lucky. Come with me. Also, she's like, I'll probably make a mistake, but you can't freak out. You have to get your spear tip under the water and then spear them. If you try to spear them with your spear tip out of the water and then spear them like that, you won't get them because you'll make too much motion. All right, folks, it looks like we found one. It's not a giant, but it's in a tough spot, so we're going to see if we can get to them. That was a hard, hard, uh, Hard spot right there too, you know. Definitely a gar. Damn! Oh, it's actually pretty big. Do you see him? Yeah, he's coming towards me now. <clears throat> oh! I got him. On you there. stabbed him, and he just got off. Oh. Round two. I spot another one. Pretty tough spot to get to without him seeing me, so we're gonna try to get a long poke on him and get us some dinner. This is probably the same one we startled. I'm out of here early, man. I can't tell which way his head is. Okay. It looks like it's facing towards the left. Him. I would have got him at that lunch. He just went right above him. He was moving. I didn't, you know what I mean? He kept creeping up further and further up the log yeah. the closer you got to him. I couldn't see him, you know? And I was trying to use that log as cover. And then when I lost his fin, because I was trying to see his fin, and when I lost his fin, I didn't know where he was. to hit his plates that time. Guys, I suck at this. The car came back twice. He gave me two fourth and a fifth lunge. I hit him that last time though. I wonder if I just hit the plate of him real bad. 
I poked him real good. Got one real good and sharp. How lucky can I be that many times to spot him like this? Golly, man, I'm sick. This is why, you feel me so? This is why I call the outdoor idiot, guys. I'm always learning. Even when I think I know something, I don't know it. So, we'll see if we can get lucky one more time on the way out, but that might have been our last chance. Guys, we're in a bit of a time crunch. We're, we're down below the Timsport Dam. The siren's already gone off. We're on our way back in a hurry, and I spot this huge car. Attempt number freaking 20 something, I don't know. He already sees me. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm glad you got one. Did you see that? He saw me right before I got that poke, and I was like, I gotta do something. I know you lunge him. I thought you were gonna fall in the water. <laughs> this is the biggest one I got down here. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I got your other noodle. Okay. I'm glad it worked out. Hell yeah, man. I dude, I've gotten five or six posts today and I've been screwing up every opportunity. We went way far down the river. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, I've been stomped on the dead. Through the spear this time. Yeah, so I, me. I, 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 I <laughs> Sorry, let me get out of the back of the picture. Yeah, Instagram. This is going on my Instagram, Outdoor Idiot. So outdoor just, Idiot? Yeah, man, I just started it. Hoping to get a similar YouTube going yeah, while we're right. filming. You know, I yeah. saw one when I was waiting around there. I, saw, I almost tried to get it with my net. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it kind of moving around. Maybe it's that exact one. Yeah, there were several. We got, this was the biggest one we've seen all day, so it was nice to get this one. But, I mean, I, I had one on my spear earlier, and it just, I was... If you don't poke them straight into the ground, you run the risk of them flopping off like that. Is that, that. why there's so many of them around? Just kind of like... Yeah, and they're a non-game fish, so there's no size on a spotted gar and long-nosed gar. Non-game fish in Tennessee, so you can spear them, net them, hit them with a rock. Shoot them with like an arrow. Yeah, arrow. I mean, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of both of you, but we eat them, so they're delicious. This will be my third one out of what this water. What does it water. taste like? Man, it's, uh, it depends on how you cook them. We did one on the half shell, very similar to lobster. If you mm -hmm. fry them into nuggets, we've done that. It's a little tougher, but just like gator. And then uh, what we, our favorite, what we're going to do with this one, we'll go home. It's like taking a back strap out of a deer. So we'll go home, we'll take that top loin off, we'll grind it up, and it'll go into like a, uh, sort of like a salmon, sam well, a salmon cake or a crab pat. Like, oh, I doesn't, see. We'll make like a, the vegetables and potato flakes and make like a ball or a patty. Wow, man. And then roll it in cornmeal and that fry it up. That was cool shit, dude. Yeah. I was stoked. Because like, so we've been down there all day, and like, we had five <laughs> yeah. or six attempts on camera. Did you I just, just see it? Did you see it chilling there? Yeah, that? yeah. yeah. and I, that same brush pile, I got one the other day. So I was like, I, I told her, I said, let me check this one on the way out. And sure enough, it was just right there. Damn, dude. And uh, he saw me right as I was about to lunge and took off. So I did a throw. And like I intercepted believe, it. Yeah, I couldn't believe I got him, man. <laughs> yeah, you were, that was awesome, dude. Yeah, I'm I was, the same way yeah, when I got <laughs> <I was> excited. <laughs> he gets yeah, so dude, excited. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. That's badass. Dude. Yeah, I was oh, happy to have it on animal. camera because this is probably oh, my huge. first YouTube video. Oh. I'm trying to do Outdoor Idiot, but we have to see if dude, somebody has it. So. Yeah. But, oh. Yeah, so it'll be hopefully some good footage, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that siren went off. All right, guys, we did it. If you're still watching this video, thank you for watching this far. We 
made it happen a little luck you know we had several several blown opportunities on my fault you know it's again outdoor idiot and i'm sticking to that name but when god shone shined down a little light on us and we uh we made it happen on the way out so i'm very thankful for that and we're gonna hopefully get home and cook it up show you guys how it's done stay tuned